So in the previous videos, we've been looking at prokaryotic gene regulation. Now we want to switch gears and turn towards the idea of eukaryotic gene regulation and look at its complexities and figure out where it's the same and where it's different in terms of how genes are regulated. So we're going to entitle the next couple of flowcharts eukaryotic gene regulation and this first one will be eukaryotic gene regulation 1. So in this first flowchart we're really just going to be looking at some basic background information to give us a good idea and understanding of where we're going to be going forward in terms of regulating genes in eukaryotes. So, in this background sort of flowchart, we're going to look at some basic ideas behind gene regulation. Specifically, we have to first understand that eukaryotes, so we're just going to write EU for eukaryotes, can and do respond to their environment. And they respond to their environment in very complex ways. This is a whole field of study known as epigenetics, and we're going to be looking at some parts of that, um, but more so than not, we have to understand that eukaryotes, just like prokaryotes, have this ability to respond. And when they respond, they're going to regulate. They're going to turn things on and turn things off, all based off of what the environment and at hand says. And we're going to look at those complexities as we move forward. In addition, we have to tackle the fact that eukaryotes are actually now, for the first time, we're looking at things that are multicellular. And this is going to play a huge, huge role in gene regulation for the following reason. Prokaryotes are, for the most part, unicellular. They're one cell. Thus, there's a bit of sort of, let's say, basicness to their idea of gene regulation. For us, who are eukaryotes, who are multicellular organisms, there's going to be a huge, huge idea of something known as specialization. Specialization specifically of cells, and that's plural, cells. Many cells are going to become specialized. And through this specialization, we get, we get really cool organization. In the sense that eukaryotes being complex multicellular organisms will organize themselves and have this organization into what you commonly know as tissues and organs because of the specialization of cells so we're going to write organization into tissues and organs and this is all due in fact to the because of the specialization that we see so specialization and organization, two key themes because of eukaryotic multicellularity that are, of course, going to be governed by gene regulation. How so? Well, we can ask ourselves this question underneath this part of the flowchart by saying and asking how. How does the multicellularity, how does this specialization and organization end up happening? Very specific term to understand this is known as differential gene expression. Very easy to understand term that we'll go over now. Differential gene expression. Now, the idea behind this is that there are differences in gene expression. What we have to first understand is that all somatic cells, basically any cells that aren't our gametes, these somatic cells, will have the same exact genome. All somatic cells with same genome. So that basically means that every single one of our body cells has the same exact genetic information and all of that genetic information. But again, you have to remember, the idea behind gene regulation is that we want to be efficient with the genes that we have. We don't want to express things that are not necessary. We don't want to express things that may be necessary in some parts of the body, but not in others. This is the organization that I'm talking about. This is the specialization that I'm talking about because what we have is differential gene expression, meaning that there are going to be different cells... There are going to be different sort of forms of expression in different cells, thus differential gene expression. Different expression in different cells, and this is going to be mostly for the purposes of this course at the transcriptional level. So we'll say mostly transcription level. Same as the prokaryotes in this sense that we're looking at post-transcriptional and uh, post-transcriptional modifications mostly. There are some post-translational modifications 
all of these modifications are in regards to different gene expression. The heart cells are going to have specific heart functions that are going to require different expression in different cells that are going to give them the ability to turn into an organized heart. And there are going to be other specialized cells like immune cells that will have differential gene expression necessary to create them into the organization that is the immune system. So there's this great amount of complexity associated with multicellularity that eukaryotes possess and thus it's worth studying, looking at the different ways that genes will be expressed based off of multicellularity. There are going to be specializations and unique organizations necessary for our multicellularity. Now, that is a big difference between us and our um, lesser counterparts, let's say, in prokaryotes. Another big difference is the fact that in eukaryotes, and specifically gene regulation, there is absolutely no operon. Okay, there are no operons here. Now, we'll understand this a little bit later. I want to ask ourselves right now why, but this is a question that we're going to get back to and hopefully answer as we move forward. Just keep this in the back of your head. Why are there no operons? Think back to the prokaryotic side of the story and think why were there operons? What about the prokaryote cell structure caused an operon to be a useful thing, but for us would not be so useful? And finally, in terms of our background, we'll end on this note, and these are the two things that we'll talk about from this point forward. Gene expression, thus gene regulation, is controlled in eukaryotes by two main concepts, two main governing uh, organizational systems of control. And those would be chromosome organization, which we'll look at in our next video, and also there's going to be um, a look at specific regulatory sequences, we'll say. That's what we'll call that other part that we'll look at a little bit later on in this lecture series. So specific regulatory sequences. So this gives us a very good broad overview at what we're going to be understanding and looking at on the eukaryotic side of the story. Eukaryotes are more complex than prokaryotes. That's the fact, that's a known understood fact. And this is because of multicellularity. And multicellularity has these consequences associated with it that cause things like differential gene expression, that cause di this advanced form of gene regulation that lacks operons, no operons whatsoever, and it's controlled by these two main, um, let's say, gene regulation components that we'll look further into as we move on.